Hi students, this is our fourth dictation for citizenship practice. If you have not watched citizenship dictations number one, two, or three, I recommend searching for those videos on the YouTube channel. Remember that citizenship dictation is just one out of four pieces of the official U.S. CIS citizenship test. There is the conversation that you have with the USCIS official. This is the first part of the citizenship exam. There is a short reading practice where you are given a sentence and have to read the sentence to the USCIS official. There is a short dictation where the USCIS official will speak to you and you will write the sentence, which is what we are practicing with this video. And then the last part, of course, is the 100 questions. You should have your pen and paper with you. Don't worry too much about spelling. As long as the spelling is close, it should be accepted. If you're ready, let's jump into this dictation practice. Remember in dictation, I am going to hide my video so that you don't see my lips moving during this conversation. I don't want you to be seeing my lips. I will read the sentences for you two or three times each. Write down as much as you can. If you can't catch it, that's okay. Skip it. At the end of the video, we will review all of the sentences together. Let's begin. Number one. The flag is red, white, and blue. The flag is red, white, and blue. The flag is red, white, and blue. Number two. The people elect Congress. The people elect Congress. The people elect Congress. Three. They want to live in a free country. They want to live in a free country. They want to live in a free country. Four. American Indians lived here first. American Indians lived here first. American Indians lived here first. Five. We have one hundred senators. We have one hundred senators. We have 100 senators. Six. 
The flag has red and white stripes. The flag has red and white stripes. The flag has red and white stripes. Seven. People come here to be free. People come here to be free. People come here to be free. Last one, number eight. We have to pay taxes. We have to pay taxes. We have to pay taxes. How are you feeling, students? I hope you're feeling okay. Let's read those sentences one more time for each of them. Again, try to catch as much as you can. If you can't catch all, it's okay. Number one, the flag is red, white, and blue. Number two, the people elect Congress. Three, they want to live in a free country. Four, American Indians lived here first. Five, we have 100 senators. Six, the flag has red and white stripes. Seven, people come here to be free. Eight, we have to pay taxes. Let's look at each of these eight sentences. Review your spelling. But don't worry too much about spelling. As long as the word is close, you will be okay. Number one, the flag is red, white, and blue. Two, the people elect Congress. Three, they want to live in a free country. Four, American Indians lived here first. Five, we have 100 senators. Six, the flag has red and white stripes. Seven, people come here to be free. And eight, we have to pay taxes. Pause the video, 
check all of your sentences. How were these sentences for dictation? I hope you found them easy enough. If not, after one or two days, come back to this video, practice them again. In the linked information under this video, I will put the PDF document, which has all of the vocabulary that you should know for the citizenship dictation and citizenship reading test. Until next time, students. Bye.